In this section, we'll look at adding a cover image to a page. So here we are in the back end of WordPress. I'm going to bring up the home page by clicking here. So it displays my home page. Now, what I want to do is I want to insert um, a cover image. So if I go to add block here, I can click on where it says cover. Again, I can either upload or use the media library. I'll use the media library. Um, this image here is different from the others because this one is a sort of banner shaped and also it's much larger as you can see. So it's, um, it's 1904 by 746 pixels. So I'm going to pick this one for the, uh, the image. I'll click select. So that's been inserted here. I can then click here and type in something. So so I've just, whoops, I've got a typo there. So I just typed in all about WordPress. And as you can see, the nice thing about this is I'm able to type text over the image. If I click outside this and move over it, you can see there it is, it's a cover block. So remember, we're always using these things called blocks now within WordPress. And if I click within this, notice this changes so I can go and format or um, adjust the cover image. I've also got these alignment options as usual up here. So I've got these alignment options up here as usual and I can edit it. And once I've clicked within the block, the block sort of formatting elements are displayed over here. So there's various things I can do. You know, I can change like the overlay cover, for instance. So I'll click there. It gives me a little different shade, or I can have that, and it makes the text sometimes easier to see. So we'll go for something like that, or if I want to, I could go down here and pick, yeah, you know, basically any color I wanted. So we'll go for that. If I wanted to, I could click that. It goes back to the way it was. Um, this changes the background opacity. So if I sort of drag here. You can see that's zero, and as we move it along here, it sort of fades out the picture until it almost disappears at 100%. Well, it does disappear at 100%. And if we drag this along, you can adjust this so you can get a balance between looking at the picture in the background and also reading whatever the text says here. So that takes a bit of fiddling about sometimes. So something about there is probably about right in this case. If I click outside that, then we no longer see the formatting information relating to this particular block. But as you can see, it's you know it's kind of looking more interesting now. Incidentally, something I didn't mention is if you click on this and you don't see the information over here, click here and that toggles the display of this uh, panel over here on and off. So as I say, if you click within here, don't see anything, don't panic, just click here and you can see information relating to that block or to that block or to that block. Okay, so just toggle it on and off.